Good morning, everyone. It's great to see that so many of you have chosen this dark room when there's so much beautiful sunshine outside. Uh, welcome to Start Update. Okay. <laughs> My name is Frida, and I'm Josephine, and uh, you can read more about us in the program, but uh, we both started and sold companies, and we recently finished our master's thesis at Stockholm School of Economics on entrepreneurial lifestyle. And today we will do our best to lead you through the day, um, and just make sure that the, the speakers don't steal each other's time up here on stage. Yeah. Anyhow, we did a small analysis of the expectations you filled out as you signed up for today. And they became very clear in this word cloud. Some of you are here to catch ideas, as you phrased it. Some are here to get cash. Some are here to learn from the people who already know this stuff, building businesses. Most of you are here to meet others, to network, and to be inspired. Looking at the program and having met the speakers, we think that there's potential to meet your expectations. Some of you have noted that you're trying to figure out if the entrepreneurial life is for you, and today's theme is doing different. Well, navigating away from the safe jobs is, of course, doing different, even if the entrepreneur is quite hyped in today's society. However, the entrepreneur is still odd. A few days ago, I was talking to Kaisa Lundfall, a startup junkie who will speak later on today. She told me she'd gotten furious she read her children's textbook, and this is a textbook for fifth and sixth graders, and it stated that smart and sensible people, they cho choose jobs in big companies, while running a business is unstable, lonely, and just not as good. And, um, sure, business can, entrepreneurship can be lonely, um, because, well, you know, every majority was once a minority, and Every idea is started by someone. Um, on the theme of the day, which is doing different, um, which I think is a bit diffuse and hard to understand, I want to show you a video clip that I think actually captures the theme of the day in like only one and a half minutes. So if you have trouble understanding what we're going to talk about, I'll show it to you. This is uh, leadership lessons of a dancing guy. If you've learned a lot about leadership and making a movement, then let's watch a movement happen start to finish in under three minutes and dissect some lessons. First, of course, a leader needs the guts to stand alone and look ridiculous. But what he's doing is so simple, it's almost instructional. This is key. You must be easy to follow. Now here comes the first follower with a crucial role. He publicly shows everyone else how to follow. Notice how the leader embraces him as an equal. So it's not about the leader anymore, it's about them, plural. Notice how he's calling to his friends to join in. So it takes guts to be a first follower. You stand out and you brave ridicule yourself. Being a first follower is an underappreciated form of leadership. The first follower transforms a lone nut into a leader. If the leader is the flint, the first follower is the spark that really makes the fire. Now here's the second follower. This is a turning point. It's proof the first has done well. Now it's not a lone nut, and it's not two nuts. Three is a crowd, and a crowd is news. A movement must be public. Make sure outsiders see more than just the leader. Everyone needs to see the followers, because new followers emulate followers, not the leader. Now here come two more people, then three more immediately. Now we've got momentum. This is the tipping point, and now we have a movement. As more people jump in, it's no longer... We can just hold it there, because I think wrong. you've got the picture. Uh, this is really what it's all about. Um, you do something a little different that you really believe in, and you do it with lots and lots of persuasion and stamina, and then the world is yours. Well, um, I guess that we can't take much more of the attention now because then we can't hold the schedule. Yep. 